Hello wonderful interpreters and thank you again for tuning in. Welcome to another video update. Yes, we had a very eventful last week, but we're here. Speaking of last week, somebody emailed me a video last week. This video is from Wolfsey Local 1671. In this video, they are implying that I am lying and spreading misinformation about their use of members' dues. Am I lying? What I decided to do this time is to present you with the most accurate evidence so they cannot dispute what they actually do with their members' dues. So please, sit back and relax, grab some popcorn, and welcome to another episode of Whoopsie Shenanigans. These pictures are from their video where they say that my video is misleading because I said that we won't touch our future members' dues for political reasons while exposing their direct donations to Governor Inslee. Despite the evidence, they still deny the fact that they use their members' dues for political purposes and say that Washington state law forbids it. They double down and say that their political contributions are done by people, which is supported by their members' voluntary donations. While this organization's fund does exist, they are still lying about their dues and hiding the real use of your dues because this is what they do. They always mix lies with the truth. Allow me to show you. The fact is that the Federal Election Campaign Act prohibits unions from using this money to make contributions for federal elected offices like the President or Congress. However, Washington state law does allow unions to use this money to make political contributions to candidates for state and local offices like the governor, state legislature, city council, etc. As you can see in the blue in a 2000 ruling, the Washington State Supreme Court noted that, quote, in this state, general membership dues of a labor organization may be used as a source for political contributions. The Federal Election Campaign Act of 1974, to the contrary, prohibits use of corporate funds and labor organization funds for direct political contributions to federal election campaigns, end quote. Links for all of this information will be provided in the description box of this video for your convenience. So how does Wolfsey use members' dues to make political contributions at the state level? They hide from their members the existence of a separate segregated fund where they deposit members' dues in it. If you research the Washington State Public Disclosure Commission online, you can find several complaints against Wolfsey by an organization called the Freedom Foundation, which is known to be unfriendly towards unions, like this one made on February 12th, earlier this year, for not reporting their segregated fund. You can see the case number in Wolfsey's lawyer, where they admit the existence of a separate segregated fund. Now, let's read the yellow parts as continuing on this letter. There is no dispute that Wolfsey's SSF, or Separate Segregated Fund, is managed, operated, funded, and directed entirely by Wolfsey itself. Wolfsey's executive director makes all final approvals of monies provided to and spent from the Separate Segregated Fund, or SSF. The next yellow part says right here, the separate segregated funds records relating to the time period in question show no deposits other than money that has been transferred from dues. As you can see right here by their own lawyer's admission, Wolfsey deposits money from union dues into their separate segregated fund SSF, all for political campaigns. Do you still have any popcorn left? Well, now prepare yourself to be shocked. This is their report to the IRS of political contributions and expenditures. Look at item number one where it clearly says Washington Federation of State Employees, SSF or Separate Segregated Fund. 
please feel free to pause this video at any time to read and review all of this information. Just this year alone, as of October 13th last month, they have spent a whooping total of $890,500. Now, look at some of these donations. You can see here which political leaders have received these donations in Washington state and the purpose of these expenses. Look where it clearly says contributions and the dates on the right. Now, this is their big fat secret and they hide the use of members dues to further their agenda. But it doesn't stop here. AFSME also has a special account, as you can see on this picture, with their own separate segregated fund that they use for political purposes, as you can see in this letter from one of their lawyers responding to yet another complaint filed with the Public Disclosure Commission last year. Now, they also admitted to this report in this letter. Look at this. AFSME's special account is a separate segregated fund. Although it is a legally distinct entity for purposes of the Internal Revenue Code, it is entirely controlled by AFSME. All decisions regarding its activities are made by AFSME, and it's entirely funded by AFSME. AFSME's special account is, in other words, an AFSCME bank account used and funded by AFSCME for AFSCME's own political activities. Here is AFSCME's special account report to the IRS located in Washington, D.C. Look at some of the juicy political contributions made from this special account funded by members dues. As I have shown you before, here is the breakdown of union dues from local 1671 Interpreters United members. You can see that a percentage of their dues go to both Wolfsey and AFSCME. Well, hello again, Wolfsey Local 1671, who's lying now? And fellow LNI interpreters, Wolfsey has now lost all of their credibility, and it's up to us to win this election. As I have said before, we can't allow them to win they have already taken too much. Please see the link in the description below for instructions on how to download, print, and send us your signed card. Please help us to solidify the lead that we have so we seal the process. Subscribe to keep on getting relevant information for our interpreting community. Help me make this video go viral so everybody sees who these people are. I'll see you in the next video in which I will continue with our interview series. Be well, and as always, God bless.